Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are back on David Bowie or Bowie, however you say his name. Some people say it differently than others. And we're starting right at the beginning with Space Oddity. This is the official video. Let's check it out. I'm interested in this guy. Um, I've not heard a lot of his music. I mean, practically none of it, to be honest. Um, I've watched the film Labyrinth, <laughs> so I do know who David Bowie is and what he looks like, etc. But I mean, starting from the early, early stuff, I don't know. I'm not a clue. But I mean, a lot of people have said a lot of good things about him. So should we start from the beginning and work up? Let's go. Nineteen seventy-two. It was guitar based. I mean, acoustic guitar based. Wow. Ground control oh. to Major Tom. <laughs> <laughs> right, so Space Oddity is ground control to Major Tom. I always thought he was called Major Tom. I had no idea it was called Space Oddity. So I've heard that, like, ground... I've never listened to the song from start to finish, don't get me wrong, but I've heard ground control to Major Tom before. Right, okay, okay. Didn't know it was called Space Oddity. <laughs> right, let's, let's listen from the beginning. Ground control to Major Tom. Ground control to Major Tom. Ooh, it's interesting laid vocals from himself there. Take your protein pills and put your helmet on. Mm. Ground control to Major Tom. Eight, well, that's interesting. Seven, six, commencing five, countdown engines on. Ooh. Three, Check ignition and may God's love be with you. Oh, this is dead interesting. I've never sat there and listened to it before. I've, I've only ever read, like, the ground control to Major Tom bit. I've heard it in some films or whatever. But, I mean, when he's singing the lyrics, I've got this, like, this this countdown, 10, 9, 8. Very, very innovative. Can't speak. Very, very innovative to me, that. It sounds really, really good. And I'm picturing some guy getting dressed up in an astronaut suit, walking into a, a, a shuttle or a, or a spaceship and getting ready for liftoff. It's, uh, he's giving me a... Some vivid, vivid imagery without really telling me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's weird. Okay, David Bowie, bright orange hair. Hmm, very young. Let's go. Three, two, check ignition and may God's love be with you. is like do you know and i've done like i've done like some like five thousand reactions a lot of them still on my computer i've got like three and a half thousand on me on me on me uh youtube and this is i've got to say is like nothing i've listened to yet i mean like i say starting from the, from the beginning and listening to this song from 
starts as well, not finished yet, obviously. But listen to it as an actual song to listen to what he's talking about. I mean, you've got it's just basically it feels like a sci fi movie, and it feels like he's saying, Get out your capsule if you dare go into the stars and stuff. And he's saying, The stars look different today. And that's probably because, as an astronaut, and you step out into these into space, if you like, um, the stars don't look like they do when they are, and when you're back on Earth, sort of thing, because you're in a different sort of environment. Wow. Okay. It's very visual. This it's giving me very very visual. It's like when you see the beginning of like Star Wars or the film Aliens and stuff, and you you know you see the astronauts and the suits and stuff. It's like it's just that sort of thing to me. In my head, it's good. I like it. Be away. The stars look very different today For here am I sitting in a tin can <laughs> Far above the world Planet Earth is blue And there's nothing I can do Okay. It's malfunctioning. He's going to be out there on his own in a minute, just drifting through space. This is this feels like a movie. The way he's describing it, I'm loving the layered vocals that keep coming in in different parts of this song. In the early parts, it was a very, very high pitched, um, maybe falsetto almost um, layered, but then he gets the lower stuff as well. It's uh, it's it, it's interesting, very interesting. Listen to it musically from start to finish, like I said before. I like it. It's good. The chart, the chart at the beginning, when I said I was going to start from the beginning, said this song was released in 1969, and this one says 1972. Was there a break uh, when making the video? I mean, I'm not sure. I don't know anything about David Bowie, like I said before. It's also very interesting that I know we had different coloured eyes, but I didn't know one of the pupils was a lot bigger than the other. Because <laughs> I just noticed that then. Um, the, the song, absolutely fantastic song. It's like... I, Considering it was either 1969 or 1972, I can imagine this song with the sound and the synthesizers and stuff in it was probably ahead of its time. I'm just guessworking there because I know a lot of the old stuff was, you know, it was pretty much 
all sounded pretty much similar. But that sounded like something like there was. Whoa, what's this? You can imagine it, can't you? What's this? What's this song? What's all this? This instrumentation. But then again, I could just be guesswork in there. So you guys let me know in the comments if that was the case. Was this song ahead of its time? Is that why it catapulted David Bowie into like? Stardom, if you like. <laughs> Not into the stars. Uh, yeah, great song. Reminded me of a movie. It felt like a film, the way he was describing all the stuff that was happening and the spaceship's going wrong and he's going to be stuck out there forever now. There's nothing he can do. At first said he was going like them above the world, then he was going above the moon, so he's going to keep going. What's next? Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, whatever. <laughs> What a great song. Anyway, I'm looking forward to the next one. If you like my videos, then please hit like and subscribe, and I shall see you all on the next one.